So Vecna is the bad guy. Undead, evil, powerful, magic man turned god, and also the new villain in Stranger Things by name. Until a few days ago, it was literally impossible to ever beat Vecna. But then Wizards released a stat block for Vecna, and holy hell, it is insane. However, if a creature has a stat block, we can kill it. Here's how to actually beat Vecna in D&D. Strength! So Vecna has an incredible stat. He resists a bunch of things, is immune to a bunch of things, and has five legendary resistances. He's got true sight out to 120 feet and a passive perception of 25. So you aren't sneaking up on him. For damage, Vecna's big power comes from rotten face. 120 foot range, DC 22 con save, or a single creature takes 96 average necrotic damage. He's also got a juicy breath weapon attack. I mean, sure, it's called Flight of the Damned, but let's be real, it's a breath weapon attack. It goes out in a spooky 120 foot cone, dealing 36 average necrotic damage and frightening anyone who fails a con save. He also has a dagger, but the damage isn't too crazy. It's basically just an afterthought. Still, he can shank you two times a turn in addition to using another ability, so it adds up. His real threats in terms of actual spells are Dispel Magic, Dominate Monster, Plane Shift, and Dimension Door. These last two are especially brutal, because they're basically the perfect escape plan. The second you might be beating Vecna, he's just gonna disappear, and come back later more prepared. But the really busted powers are his bonus action and reactions. Oh god. God, these are insane. As a bonus action, he can teleport 30 feet to a place he can see and deal 3d6 to all creatures within 15 feet of where he lands. If he damages at least one creature when he does this, he regains 80 hit points. That is Wolverine levels of regeneration right there. Then he gets three reactions per round, and he has two terrifying options to choose from. Dread Counterspell is basically a better version of Counterspell. This has no range, which means, thanks to the Scrying spell, he can counter spells from literally thousands of miles away, if your DM wants to be a dick. Because this isn't a spell, you can't counterspell it back, and it even gets around the subtle spell metamagic due to its careful wording. Fennel Rebuke is his other reaction, dealing 10 damage to anyone who hits him with an attack, and letting him teleport up to 30 feet away to a point he can see. That is a lot of powers, and the designers have done a beautiful job of making Vecna nearly impossible to stop. He might not be as explosive as someone like Tiamat, but he's definitely the trickiest and most dangerous spellcaster ever printed. However, there are weaknesses that you need to know if you're gonna survive, and DMs need to know if they're gonna torture players successfully. Whoa, what the fuck? This is ultimate book. Hey, is that Crown of the Earthbreaker? Yes, is heavy enough to cross man's skull and feast on tasty hypothalamus. Visit. I heard it's a 916 page long adventure campaign with over 40 dungeon maps. And book is me in book. In original art, I have big penis, but they have to cut to fit in the words. Over 30 new classes, over 40 new spells. This gecko is actually polymorphed Dracolich. He is much happier now. It's got moral decision points. It was created by directly talking with and polling the D&D community. It's a great book. Buy it. An attractive woman will make love to you. Whoa, we can't promise that. Just tell them about the booster cards and soundscape app. No, it really work. I buy book, 20 minutes later, I 12 inches deep in attractive orc female. That can't possibly be related to the book, though, right? Mm -mm. Ah, give me the book! No, buy your own! Download chapter one of Crown of the Oathbreaker completely for free today and check out the full Roll20 integrated adventure module for effortless online play. Remember to use code DNDSHORTS10 for 10% off any digital or hard copy purchase. Link in description. Weaknesses! So Vigna's abilities are insane, but the biggest weakness is something that isn't there that we might expect. No legendary actions. Every high level boss has legendary actions, except Vecna. Vecna keeps up with a full party thanks to his three reactions around, but he can't actually act on another player's turn unless they attack him or cast a spell. That is exploitable. Second weakness, stats. Vecna's got some respectable con intelligence and wisdom saves, but his strength, dex, and charisma are bad. Plus three at best. He's relying on his counter spell to save him from spells, but you can bypass that. Magic items or abilities that target those weak saves 
will hammer his legendary resistances. Also, 18 AC is low at this level. Vecna is an endgame boss, so it's not unusual to expect a fighter or a ranger to be rocking a plus 14 to hit at this point in the game. Finally, most of Vecna's abilities rely on sight. Simple items, like the ever-smoking bottle or a smoke grenade, block true sight and turn off some of his worst actions, like the counter spell. Using these weaknesses, there is a simple strategy that gives you a good chance of taking Vecna down quickly. Then there's also a terrifyingly overpowered cheesy strat that will make your DM and the designers cry. How to win! So Vecna dunks on spellcasters and teleports away from melee attackers. That leaves one weakness, ranged attacks. A level 17 halfling fighter with the archery fighting style and some plus two equipment can make eight longbow attacks a turn with a plus 17 to hit. Ergo, you have a 399 out of 400 chance to hit Vecna if you shoot him. If you go samurai fighter, you can make every attack at advantage. Slap on the sharpshooter feet and you're attacking with a plus 12 at advantage through three quarters cover. That's 188 average damage if you hit him with every attack which you are likely to do. Even if you only hit 6 out of 8 though, that's still over half his health gone in one turn with no crits. Just two archers have a pretty good chance of having Vecna pin cushions to death before he gets a single turn. However, if he survives the opening barrage, you're fucked, because he'll teleport away and then come back and deal with you on his own turns. So what about a more reliable, brutal and humiliating strategy for when you really want to make this lich your bitch? The cheesy strat! So this needs two spellcasters, one at least level 13 and the other at least level 5. Then one of them wants two levels in fighter for action search. Let's bump our level 13 wizard to 50. Finally, if you want to be ridiculously safe, get an artificer friend to kick you both out with a mind sharpener infused item. Step 1. We need to find a way to land the silence spell on Vecna. But how do you get through the counter spell? Well, silence doesn't require you to be able to see to use it. All you need to do is drop your ever-smoking bottle, disappear in a cloud of smoke, and cast silence at wherever Vecna is. Boom! Vecna is crippled. His counterspell requires him to speak a dread word, but in the zone of silence, he can't. Then you action surge and cast Force Cage. This spell is brutal. Vecna is now trapped in a barred cage that can't be dispelled and he can't leave it physically. If he wants to teleport out, he needs to pass a charisma save, but he can't even try that until his turn. This is where our second spellcaster steps forward and casts Sleet Storm over the cage. Sleet Storm causes heavy obscurement, so Vecna, caught in the middle, is blinded by the storm and muted by the silence. And that is game over. Vecna can't speak. He can't articulate the verbal components of his spells and abilities. Plane Shift is uncastable. Dimension Door is uncastable. He can't physically move out of the cage, and he can't bonus action teleport because he can only teleport to places he can see, and he can't see anything. His only chance is to use his Flight of the Damned Breath Weapon attack blindly and hope he hits someone and drops their concentration. However, you have the Mind Sharpener invocation, so you can't drop concentration on your spells. Also, if your location allows it, you can do this combo from 100 feet away and then move back 30 feet with your movement on your turn then Flight of the Damned can't even reach you. Vecna is trapped, and the whole party can just fire in ranged attacks and fireballs blindly, and he will quickly die. If you do this right, Vecna never gets a chance to interrupt or mess with the combo, because he doesn't get a legendary action. Of course, Vecna never dies for long. He'll be back in 1d100 years, no matter how you kill him. Depending on your DM, the Wish spell may be able to stop Vecna from coming back, but that is up to their discretion, and they might not be too happy with you after you do this. But DMs can guard against all of this by just giving Vecna two simple abilities. One, the shield spam. Amazing against ranged attack spam, and works well with Vecna's multiple reactions. Two, give Vecna the subtle spell meta magic two times a day. That lets Vecna cast two spells without verbal components, giving him an emergency escape button against the silence spell. That should be more than enough to force players to fight on Vecna's turns and make him even more OP. So, is Vecna the strongest CR26 creature in the game now? Who would win? Vecna or Orcus? Well, I've made a video where I literally fight them against each other in battle to find out who is really the best. It's out right now for everyone who supports on Patreon. But if you really want to see it and you can't afford to support the channel right now, just drop me a DM on Discord and I'll send it to you for free. But if you can afford the price of just one coffee a month to help me make videos and even vote on the videos I make, link to the Patreon is up here and down there. There's also other bonus videos and benefits on there too. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.